Hello and welcome to scripting tutorial number 9. In this tutorial we're going to be learning about if statements. Now this is a very very easy part of scripting. In fact this this bit is so yeah this 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 part of scripting is so so easy. So yeah I'm going to teach you how to make an if statement then. So let's start then. You just start by writing the word if. Remember lowercase all lowercase it should light up in blue. Now this is the start to the if statement. I'm going to explain what it does afterwards but just for now just write the word if. Um, so once it's gone blue you know it's correct no capitals. Um, now we can begin to compare which is what an if statement does. What an if statement does is it compares two values together and it sees if well, let me show you first. Let's create um, a variable first. So let's call it uh, my variable, and let's set a value to five. Okay. So let's compare um, this variable here with a number. So if my variable, and when you're comparing, you use a double equals, not a single one. So if my variable equals 8 then and then end okay so this is what it does we're saying if the value inside my variable which is 5 is equal to the number 8 then we are going to print um, it is equal to 8 and if it's not equal to 8 then it's just going to skip the if statement it's not going to bother with it so okay so let's have a look my variable is equal to 5 now so here we're comparing now we're using a double equals because we're not assigning the value 8 to my variable we're not saying my variable is now equal to 8 we're not doing that we're saying is my variable equal to 8 and because we're saying is it equal to 8 we're comparing it with the number 8 therefore we need to use a double equals and not a single one so yeah, keep that in mind. When you're using if statements, you use a double equal sign to compare values together. So, if my variable, which is 5, is equal to 8, then print it is equal to 8. Well, it's not equal to 8, is it? So, it's not going to do what's inside the if statement. It's just going to skip straight past it. So, let's have a look. Will it skip straight past it? Let's click play and look at that. Nothing is printed out because it's just skipped straight past the if statement because my variable is not equal to 8, it's equal to 5. What if we change the value of my variable to number 8? So now we've set the variable, my variable is now equal to 8. So because it's basically doing this, my variable which is 8, so 8 is equal to 8. If 8 is equal to 8, then print this. Well, yeah, we know that is true. 8 is equal to 8. It can't really be anything else. So we're going to do what's inside the if statement and we're going to print it is equal to 8. So yeah, it's just printed. So yeah, that is that is how you do it. You can also compare two variables together. So let's create another variable called number 2 and let's set the value to 6. So if we say is my variable equal to number 2, this is what it's doing. It's saying is the value in my variable here equal to the value in this variable here. It's basically saying is 8 equal to 6? Well 8 is not equal to 6 so if we press run it's not going to print anything out because 8 is not equal to 6. But if we set both values to the number 8 then it will print what is ever in, whatever is inside this if statement. So yep it's printed. So you can play around with if statements um, do things like if something is equal to something then make a brick transparent so play around with bricks and everything and so another thing I want to show you in if statement is you can't you don't just have to compare with the equals sign you can also use different signs like the greater than sign so or the less than sign so let's use the greater than sign which is the it's above the full stop or the yeah it's above the little dot so if my variable is greater than number two, so if you don't know what a greater sign, greater than sign is, it's something that you probably learnt while you were little. It's it looks like a little crocodile mouth, and if the crocodile mouth is pointing to the yeah the bit that's open here, so the 
the bit that's open of the crocodile mouth, it wants to eat the biggest value. So if my variable here is bigger than number 2, then it's going to print this. But if we change it to the less than sign, it's going to say if my variable here is smaller than number 2. But they're both equal, so it shouldn't really do anything. So let's 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 check it out. If my variable is less than number two variable, then print. Let's press play. It shouldn't print anything because they're both equal. But if I change the value of number two to fifteen, what it's going to do is it's going to say, okay, my variable is eight. Number two is fifteen. So is eight less than fifteen? Yes, eight is less than fifteen. So let's do whatever is is inside this if statement and press play and look at it, it's print printed so and let's do the same thing with the greater than sign if 8 is bigger than 15 print well no 8 is not bigger than 15 it's less than so it should not print anything if you press play okay so another thing you can do is you can also use the greater than or equal to sign so this is the last bit that I want to show you it looks like that, like this. Look on line 10. Greater than or equal to. You just put the greater than sign and the equal sign next to each other. You don't need to put double equals for it. You just need to put greater than or equal to. Okay, so let me show you what it does. If we change both values back to 8, so now they're equal. So if you use just the greater than symbol or the less than symbol, it shouldn't do anything because it's equal to. But if we said is my variable greater than or equal to then what it's going to do is it's going to say okay this is 8 and this is 8 it's not 8 is not bigger than 8 8 is equal to 8 but 8 yeah so 8 is not bigger than 8 but we've all, we're also comparing if it's equal to as well so we're comparing if this variable here is bigger than or equal to well it is equal to so we are going to print because 8 is bigger than or equal to number 2 so let's press play and it has printed here it is equal so yeah we can also do the same thing with um, less than just put the less than or greater than sign first and then put the equal sign second and it should compare if the value inside this variable here is greater than or equal to as well so it shouldn't matter if the both values are the same it will still do whatever is inside the if statement because they're equal to and we're comparing if they're equal to or less than here. So yeah that is how we use the greater than or equal to or just greater than or less than on themselves by themselves. So you can experiment all you want with those. Um, do the same thing with strings as well so change it to string text oops, and let's change this to the value of peace pod. Um, when you're using text there's no need to use the greater than or equal to sign because you can't compare text being greater than text. You can only use the greater than or equal to sign with numbers, integers, not with text or with booleans. Um, if you don't know what a boolean is, it's a true or false value. So, so remember, when you're using text, when you're comparing text together, just use the equal to sign. Because if you were to say, is text bigger than the text piece pod, then yeah, it just doesn't do. It doesn't work properly if you compare um, text is greater than text. Just use equal to when you're comparing text. Okay. So um, yeah, when you're using text or booleans, just use equal to. So let's say is true equal to false. No, true is not equal to false. But if we put them both as true, then true is equal to true, and it would print. So, yeah, so remember, when you're working with integers, you can use greater than or equal to, or you can just use equal to if you want. But if you're working with strings or booleans, then just use equal to. So, that is how if statements work. I'm just going to go over it once more. We're saying, if this variable here, if the value inside this variable is equal to another variable, then, remember to write then in lowercase, then we're going to do whatever whatever is inside the if statement, which is in between the words then and end. So anything in between the words then and end, we can even we can print as many times as we want. Uh, let me print another line. 
we can print as many times as we want, we can do whatever we want inside this if statement, but as long as it's in between the words then and end, and as long as each, each print function has its own separate line. You can even set transparencies of bricks inside the if statement, you can do whatever you want, just experiment with it and you'll get better at it. So yeah, that is how if statements work and um, in the next tutorials, in the next couple of tutorials I think, um, actually no, I'll do one more tutorial on if statements. So there's going to be another tutorial on if statements and it's going to go it's going to teach you a bit more about if statements because there is a bit there is another bit to learn about if statements um this isn't just it about if statements this is just the basic if statement but there is there is another thing that I can teach you about if statements which I'll be teaching you in the next tutorial so yeah just play around with this um if statements and I'll see you in the next tutorial